has been updated. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Please select support helicopter Roger. requested. Something of an ancestor to the domestic carrot. It's also a favorite of wild animals. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Momentarily. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Boss, we've received a back channel request from Langley. We're to find a piece of new American military hardware that's gone missing in the mountains of Afghanistan. It's a difficult mission, but I'd say you're back in top form by now. Check your iDroid for the details. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a... fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now. But this is where the hard stuff begins. 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small unit of men. Basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world. Those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The Mother Base. That would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money.
Soviet engineer is being held prisoner at the Wat Sin barracks. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at Wat Sin. He's offered his technical skills to us as long as we can guarantee his safety. You have to extract the target. Your target just happens to be the man who developed your prosthetic hand. And he's the only one capable of maintaining it. If we bring him in, I'm sure he'll be able to modify it in all kinds of ways as well. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-killer unit under the CIA. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. That's the Waxin Barracks. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. While you were gone, Find the target in the Waxin barracks and get him out alive. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. XOF. Kisses and hugs followed by a big F U. All because of Miller's blind spot. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. You remember a certain scientist. Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection team on board. Giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you at home. You were returning from Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates again and again, until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. It was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Rings a bell, hmm? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. But you survived. You went straight down to hell, and they pulled you out. Your eye wide open. Full of venom. The days of Naked Snake are long gone. Welcome back. concern in and of itself, but it could mean the difference between life and death in the field. You'll need to watch out for that. I will. All right. You should continue your physio. We'll be arriving soon. It's the last chance you'll get.
base route in mind when you head indoors. If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run. Возможно, это вражеская 
too. Roger that. Osla. I hear they started calling you Shalashaska in Afghanistan. What's that about? <laughs> you know the term Sharashka? It's slang for a suspicious, hastily thrown together organization. The word became associated with a type of forced labor facility in the Soviet Gulag system. OKB scientists and engineers who'd been convicted of crimes were sent to a Sharashka for forced R&D. The Sharashkas were supervised by Lavrenti Berea of the NKVD, the secret police, under the official name, 4th Special Department. Forced research? That's not very different from what we do here. <laughs> Diamond Dogs is different. Everyone here believes in you. Regardless of where they came from or why they're here, they revere you. And they're fighting because it was their choice. And if it wasn't, they'd leave? Who knows? That's our reality here, whether it's real or not. If there's another truth, I don't want to know it. All that matters is that's the concept that's taken shape in their heads. The traces of a group ideology, our superstructure, to put it in Marxist terms. All right. Go on. Right. So Roger. At some point, the enemy started calling me Sharashka. This was after the war in Afghanistan broke out. While I was keeping an eye on you in that hospital, I was also heading up interrogations here. The men I broke gave up their comrades and families everything they wanted to protect the most. No real cause for it. I just let myself get caught up in the old Russian pride. And suddenly I received the honor of becoming special interrogation advisor to the forced labor camps. But the more men I interrogated, the more people saw me as just that. The interrogator. It helped cover my real objective of keeping you safe. You went that far for me? Far enough to keep you alive. I ended up being pretty well known among the Afghan guerrillas. Some of them would have seen me on the battlefield. And that's how I got the second half of the name. Shashka. It's a sword. A type of saber from the Caucasus. Russian dragoons and Cossacks carry them into battle. Now, the Russian Empire had a general by the name of Fyodor Arturovich Keller. His bravery earned him the nickname Russian... Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. ...must have known about that. Because somewhere along the line, Shashka got stuck on the end of Sharashka. The guerrillas were using the name amongst themselves. By the time I got to hearing about it, the pronunciation had wound up as Shalashashka. So, half gulag, half hero sword. He's coming too. Roger that. Rumors and ideas about people can get out of hand fast. Once you create a character and put it out there in public mind, it warps and twists with every baseless rumor. And before you know it, all people see are phantoms. In my case, it works out just fine. I'm plenty used to work. You gotta extract him. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Extraction arrived at mother base. All right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete, boss. Rescued has been extremely cooperative. The guys on the R&D team are glad to have him aboard. Thing is, his specialty isn't mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm. If you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. Select unit. Development project has been added. Please specify a project. Select unit. Select unit. <laughs> <laughs> 